Hey everybody, welcome to Chief Cell. Yeah, it's Miss Whited. And Mr. Doherty. And we're gonna show you how to get around cell. Awesome, let's do it. All right, so we just walked in. And as you walk in, there's the office right here and you're gonna be facing a hallway. And this is gonna be referred to as hallway one, right? Hallway one. And in hallway one, you're mostly gonna have access to your math, science, foreign language classes. Hey. We're outside of room 222. It's one of the first classrooms you'll hit. It's Chinese. And I want you to take notice of the numbering system. It's very different, but I'll explain it to you really fast. We're on the second floor, so the first number is two. And we're in the even hallway, so the second number is even. All of the numbers that are in the second spot are going to be even numbers in this hallway. So what's weird, hallway one, is even, hallway two is odd. Is that the counseling office in red? I think it is. I do too. Wait, if we take a turn here, we might get to something else. Let's go. Let's check it out. Is that the teen health center? I think that that is the teen health center. Let's go down these stairs to get to the science rooms. The first stairs you see in the building on your right are going to be for science and PE. All right, so we made it to the Galleria, guys. Now, we're gonna check out some of your science classrooms. First, we have Miss Neal's room, right here. This is all on the right side of the Galleria. Then, we've got Miss Din's room. Excellent. Now, check it out. Look over here. Across the hallway, we've got a gate right there. That's how you get to the gymnasium. And up the ramp. Okay, so where should we go next, Miss Whited? I think we should go to the math hallway. Let's head there. All right. Now we're in the math hallway. And notice it's still even numbers. We were just at two, 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 and now we're at two, four. Where did the 30s go? They're in the odd hallway. And okay. now it's the math hallway. And you notice it is two, four, two, four. And the whole hallway is purple. And then it changes, and when the colors change, so does the second number. Oh, oh check it out. So there you go. You're coming to the combo hallway, where there's just a little bit of everything. On this side, your right, is still always going to be math classes. So, if you come here, many of you have Miss Bats, and she is 265. And then if you have Ms. Lopez or Mr. Dursay, they're just past here, all the way to the end. But here's why it's called combo. Also, Ms. Jacobs' science is right here. So if you have science with Ms. Jacobs, you'll be down here. And what else? If you have art with Ms. Ottenry, you'll be here. So we'll call this combo hallway. It's the one six, the two sixties. All right, so we are still in hallway one, you guys. And we just talked about your uh, science and math classrooms. Now here on the right, you've got classrooms 148 through 167. These are your foreign language classrooms. All right, stairs. we're gonna go down stairway number two. number two. All right, you guys, I'm heading down stairway number two. And here on my left, is Mr. Martinez's room. So if you guys have Mr. Martinez, just head right here. He has the only classroom down these stairs that is not a foreign language, right? Yeah. We head this way, down this hallway. I love foreign language. Here we go. Yeah. So we have, um, we have Spanish down here. We've got Japanese. What else, Ms. Whiten? Spanish and Japanese with Ms. Moro Bed and Mr. Molina right there. And of course, coming up is more foreign language. At the very end, it's Mr. Hansel teaching Japanese. So you're already here in your foreign language hallway. So Mr. Doherty, we're at the top of the language stairs again, and where are we gonna go? To the bathroom. It's the yeah. place you all wanna know about most. So <laughs> if you turn right here at the top of the language stairs, look. It's bathrooms. It's maximum occupancy four bathroom and maximum occupancy four bathroom right here on the way to Ms. Whited's class. Yes. 
So we've just finished learning where the bathrooms are and now really important questions are going to be answered. Where is Mr. Doherty and where is Miss Wyden? Come along with me. You're going to come to two classes that are very important to you. Ms. Wyden. <laughs> Ms. Wyden. And Mic drop. Ms. Field. So you just have to get to 273 because now we're in the odd hallway. You get what I mean? Second floor, odd hallway. And remember, Ms. Wyden is odd. 273. And right across the hall from me is Ms. Field. And that could be one of your science classes. All right, so you guys, I'm just in the hallway where the bathrooms are. And another place you can go after you go past those bathrooms is the land of the portable. The portable. Yeah. And guess what? That's where my classroom, Mr. Doherty's classroom, it's is. It's the be. land of Doherty. All right, so you guys, now clearly we are outside the building. And yes. if you turn right, you've got my portable, which is portable number. Four. Number four. Right down here, P4. And what's really cool is that my room's right there, so we can see each other sometimes. Yes, use the ramp, come up here. Here's my awesome classroom, and we're gonna do a whole lot of lit stuff. Ooh, boo. <laughs> Mr. Doherty, walk down the ramp. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh-huh, right. he forgot. All right. So, it's a really long ride. So, hey, my next class is Miss Huber's class. Ooh. Where do I go? I'm gonna head to the other portable right down here. Right down there. Let's go. Let's go there, you guys. So, we just made the long walk from my portable to Miss Huber's room, which is portable number two. And you're gonna use the ramp, not like Mr. Doherty, okay? Use the ramp. And so there's Miss Huber. And now we're going back inside. And now we just came in from the portables where Ms. Hubert and Mr. Rockerty are. And you will see we are in a purple hallway, but also still the odd hallway, second floor and odd. Now you're going to see Proyecto Saber, Ms. Louise, and one of the teachers you've been waiting to see, Mr. Lopez, right here. Let's break in on him. Lopez. What are you doing? I can't even believe it. I, I told you we were making a video. Why didn't you come? I didn't say that to you. What are you talking about? You're saying... That's Mr. Lopez. Right here in room 253. 253. All right. We're making a freshman video. So now we just left Mr. Lopez's class and we're going to head down this hall to get to all of the musical arts and Miss Sanchez and Miss Boo. Come on. Let's do it. All right, you guys, I'm coming out of hallway two. Here on my right, we've got the orchestra classroom. Right here on my other right, the piano. <laughs> and then behind me, this way, is going to be your choir, your band. Um, if you've had, if you went to Denny and you had band before, you know where it is. Right down here, guys. So I'm still in the crossroads of hallway two and the music hallway, all right? But behind me is something really special. Let's check it out. All right, let's see what it is. So Mr. Doherty, this is your favorite place in self, isn't it? Love it. This mural literally brings me joy when I walk past it. We've got uh, Jake the dog from oh. Adventure Time. We've got some Mario mushrooms up here. We've got uh, this dude who I think is from the game, uh, shoot. Bioshock, and then we've got um, some Pokemon on here. Honestly, oh, look, SpongeBob fans. SpongeBob fans. There we go. Okay. Now you know how Mr. Doherty spends his spare time. Now, we just passed that really awesome mural, you guys. Down this hallway, which is kind of hidden, we've got Miss Sanchez's room, so for world history, and we also have Miss Boo just down this hallway. So you may have one of those two teachers. And we call it the secret hallway. Well, we've made a complete circle now, Mr. Doherty, into the commons area. And look, we're already back at the main office. Here we go. And you now know everything there is to know about Chief Self High School. Excellent. All right, you guys. Our day itself has come to an end. Uh, you got the full tour. 
Um, but we know that you might have a lot of questions. So we are your wacky language arts teachers. We're here for you and we want to see you. So if you have any questions, my name is Mr. Doherty. And I'm Ms. Whited. And please come see us. We're ready to see you here with open arms. Let's go Seahawks.